Igbo disabled persons take pride in what they do, even if it is menial. 74-year-old visually impaired Yao Al Hassan has patched and motorable roads from Esuboni to Inketapa in the eastern region for years. He does this with no assistance. Our reporter Beatrice Senaju was on that side of town and shows us how he goes about this. <laughs> He was born blind, and for all these years, Alahassan has been patching roads for the people in his community. He says it saddens him to see that the roads leading to and from his community is unmotorable. So all Alahassan does every day is to come out of his house to patch the roads for motorists to use. This is the story. On my way to Amate town from Empire So in the Kuru South district to gather news, it was obvious that the roads were bad. It was bumpy, hilly, and stony. At a point, my crew and I had to get down from the vehicle and walk for about 30 minutes. This was to make the car lighter for the driver to have an easier climb up the hilly, unmotorable road. This made the journey to Amati town difficult. This is when I met Alahassan at Esuboni. He was in the middle of nowhere digging up soil on the lonely road. I didn't know he was visually impaired until my attention was drawn to that. So I stopped, assisted, and had a chat with him. Alahassan is saying, all Al-Hassan needs to get his job done is a shovel and pickaxe, not forgetting a gallon of water to quench his thirst. He told me he walks two hours every day from Nchinenchene to Esubone to patch the roads. His daily activity starts around 9 a.m. This is why he decided to patch the roads. The safety of passengers and drivers are of concern to me, the reason I do this work. I asked how Al Hassan knows a particular road is unmotorable, and this was his answer. I was infected with this disease when I was young. I learned to maneuver through life with time. Some drivers and passengers tip him for the good work done. Drivers and passengers are generous to me. In a day, I get 20 to 30 CDs. He was a farmer, but with no help, he switched to patching of roads, which he says is his calling. Al Hassan is not married, but has a son. People discouraged my wife from marrying me. She therefore took my child away when he was young. He is now of age, but he doesn't know where I live. Yawal Hassan has a wish. I need a place to lay my head. Where I currently live, the roof leaks. If I ask for a car, I can't use it, so I need a house. <laughs> Driving back to finish up at Amati town, I kept thinking about how a physically challenged person can boldly step up for the love of country. Flashbacks of how visually impaired Al Hassan does his work with ease will forever be a reminder that irrespective of circumstance, there is dignity in labor. Many who heard of his story say it is possible for Ghana to be a better place with the reshaping of mindset 
important in the sense of patriotism if physically challenged persons like Yawal Hassan and many others are impacting lives against all odds, then able-bodied persons like you and I have no excuse not to be agents of change. Be a hero of change because all it takes is just one person to make it happen. Beatrice Senaju, GBC News, Esubone, 